This is so hard for me. I have like this thing that I like. Fuck, dude, it's like so unnatural. Don't you think? <sighs> Fuck. Why did I agree to this? I'm just kind of not like doing a whole lot these days, I guess. Like, yeah, I'm kind of in between jobs right now, so I got a lot of like free time on my hands. I wouldn't say I got like fired, I guess. I kind of uh, like just decided to walk away from the job. Do you box? Uh, jiu jitsu. Um, yeah, I roll. Uh, for sure. Um, I'm not like an, I had an actual gym. Um, like I have a few buddies who kind of just come, come uh, in here. We got a little rolling space. Uh, yeah, back behind this couch here, but, uh, yeah, I roll. Who do I hang out with? Um, well, I hang out with, um, Juliet, uh, quite a bit, quite a lot. Um, yeah, we're pretty tight, me and Juliet. Uh, I would say we hang out probably like every weekend, every maybe three, four, five, f probably four days a week, I would say, yeah. Like we probably could be like if I wanted to, but um, I kind of want to keep that one like on the back burner, I guess, because, you know, summertime, a lot of, a lot of tourists uh, come, come around Penticton. Um, so, you know, like that's a safe one, I would say, but uh as of right now, I'm kind of just keeping my options open. Well, who would you say is like a major influence in your life? Oh, definitely my uncle. Yeah, my uncle. Um, very, yeah, inspirational guy. He's big inspiration to me, I would say. Uh, yeah, smart guy. Has, I would say he has a, a very like entrepreneurial spirit that I kind of strive to have myself. So yeah, definitely my uncle. Um, well, he was, like he's not like with us right now currently um cuz he's in he like he's in jail right now they got him for uh uh dog fights he was uh yeah making dogs fight each other um so they got him for that one fucking public defenders man uh the artist that really can't be looked over is probably Kanye uh West you know i think that um all this controversy surrounding him right now is um yeah pretty uh disgusting in my eyes I think I think people should just lay off Kanye, um, like for once and all. I, I kind of see myself in Kanye a little bit too. Kanye is kind of like a tortured artist, I guess, and I can kind of see myself fitting that description. The lo he's a bit of a loner, I would say. I would say I relate to that. Um, in high school, I was kind of like more of a loner. I was like cool with everybody, but I wasn't like super popular. But like I knew everybody. So I, I guess I would say the, the the two artists that I like relate to the most are for sure Kanye, uh, number one, and also kind of Kid Cudi, I guess. Um, like I, I can't remember what song it's on, but when he's like the lonely stoner, whatever, freezes, whatever, it, whatever. Um, yeah, I definitely related to that, like the lonely stoner thing, because uh, yeah, I'm like pretty lonely sometimes. Um, yeah, I don't really smoke weed though. But yeah, I would say like I'm a pretty musical like artistic musical guy say you're going camping um like in the woods and stuff like i like you know how, like there's always that one guy um like camping that like brings a guitar i think that would like i would say that's me because like when it all boils down to it like i'm i am an artist with my jujitsu like my rolling is an art yeah, i make kind of beats here and there too um, uh, yeah, I pirated FL Studio, uh, the other week, so, yeah, I, I haven't made, like, a full one yet, um, but, uh, like, I'm working on it, like, I have, like, the, the drums kind of laid down, but I'm trying to, trying to, kind of trying to figure out how to, like, I guess combine, like, the rest of the part of the song with the drums. I think my name's gonna be, like, Scooter, Scooter Beats, um, I kind of like that, I like the way it kind of, like, rolls off the tongue. I feel like that's like pretty marketable. Um, so yeah, Scooter Beats, I, I'm thinking like the tag, like in the song, it'll be like, Scooter Beats, like yell at, like, yell at me or some shit like that. Uh, like obviously my real name isn't Scooter, it's it's Tyler, um, but I kind of always thought Tyler was like douchey, I guess, like it kind of sounded douchey to me. Like I really don't want to come off as like douchey to anybody, so I, I figured like I would kind of like try to like, um, get away from that sort of name, uh, Tyler. Everybody started calling me Scooter, um, kind of overnight. So yeah, Scooter.
Oh, someone's coming out. Fuck, my fucking brother's coming out. Fuck. That was more of a car guy coming up, you know? But yeah, I've been like working on this bad girl for a little while now. Um, I'm probably planning on like throwing a turbo uh, charger in it like pretty soon. Um, but I'm not actually sure which, like how to go about like starting that process. But I'm just not really sure like which one to get, like which one would like fit this, and how to con like configure it and like attach all the things and stuff to it. I'm pretty handy like with my experience in the shop and all that. So um, yeah, but she's been pretty fucking ruining my shot. Fucking what is that Ford? Yeah, I work on her like pretty much every day because I don't have a like a lot going on. I have like a lot of free time, so yeah, I work on her like pretty much like an hour every day. Um, just getting her going. Um, she's pretty quick. I haven't like taken her on the road yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, she sounds fast when it starts, which it hasn't done for a little while. I do normally drive my mom's car, though, mostly, just around town. Like, some people might be embarrassed that they have to drive their mom's car, um, but I'm not, like, I don't really feel embarrassed about it because, she, like, she pays for the gas that I use when I drive it, um, so I don't really see any, like, reason to being, uh, like embarrassed about driving it, even though it is my mom's, because, um, yeah, I'm not even putting a dime in the car, so. So, Tyler, when he was a young boy, he, he loved to read, he, we liked to ride his bike, explore, you know, we probably had him do things to try and expose him to, to different I don't know, different interests, but nowadays he just doesn't really seem to have any ambition and I, I don't really know how to help him with that. He just doesn't want to do anything. You know, and I, I, I wish that he would have some interests and, you know, maybe just have some passion about something. Think about leaving here and, and exploring what the world has to offer. I mean, that's what we all want for our children. So Tyler bought this car and we were really, you know, that was a, a positive thing. We thought, okay, great. Tyler has a project to work on. But the car is just sitting there. Nothing's happening with the car. Sitting there, doesn't have any money to do anything with the car. You know, we're spending money on all the things that cost money these days. Food, um, you know, he's not paying rent. There's things we want to do. It's, it's it's a burden, not a burden, because he's our child, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a time in life that you want your child to be out looking after themselves, starting to make a move in the world, and this car, this car could be a step in that direction, but it's still sitting there. Like, there's, there's just no ambition, no drive, no, no, like, next step. One of our concerns with Tyler is that his perception of what it might actually take to move ahead in life and to actually, you know, take a step and, and make plans aren't, aren't really aligned with reality. So he has some pretty great ideas about what he wants to do with his life. There's lots of ideas, lots of thinking grandiosely about what could be done, but actual steps towards it aren't happening. But he's a good boy. Summer, I really thrive in the summertime, I think. I like to walk kind of along the beach a lot. Um, I like to kind of just people watch sometimes. I like to observe um, my fellow humans for sure. I like to... Penticton's like a pretty small place, and I, like I know a lot of people here. Um, so I normally kind of like run into people that I know stroll on the beach and like we'll have a beer, we'll hang out, shoot the shit for a few minutes. There's endless people to talk to and to like have a beer with, like have a smoke with. 
I don't like smoke anything, but people like I'll like stand with them while they s smoke things, and when they pass it to me, I'll say uh, no, thank you. I've kind of had a new outlook on women in the past like 12 hours or so. Um, like uh, Juliet, I said yesterday was on the back burner for me a little bit because you know there's so many like new fish in the sea I guess with this like huge influx of tourists. But um, like I was kind of thinking about her a little bit and about like how she makes me feel and things like that and like how happy she like makes me. She's like kind of like the perfect woman, I guess you could say. Um, and I really, I think she's kind of end game for me, if I'm being perfectly honest. Like, I don't know when the end uh, is, like figuratively and like literally. Um, like I think about death a lot. Um, and like, I don't really know when the end will be, but wherever the end is, I think that she will be a part of that. But I was kind of also thinking about, like, children and how, and, like, you know, like, what that end game might look like with her. Like, I think that we would have, like, really, like, funny, um, good-looking, handsome, cre like, creative, uh, super driven and focused and smart and intelligent children. Um... So yeah, I think that the end game with me and her kind of looks like maybe we like, you know, uh, like procreate and like have kids and stuff. Yeah, and I haven't even talked to her about this at all. So, but like, I'm like, I really get the vibe that she feels the same way about me. So I think she'd be really receptive um, if I like decided to voice my feelings. Scooter? No, no, never. Why, did he ask? Scooter and I, well, we've been friends for a while, and at first it was it was kind of refreshing to be with, like, hanging out with someone who was more into the day-to-day, -day. like, he didn't really um, think about the long term or anything, and that was kind of nice, like, I wanted a break from all the big picture stuff, so it was fun to hang out with him, but I've known Scooter since middle school, and he just, he hasn't changed at all, honestly, he's been the same for years. He doesn't really have any ambition or drive to do anything, and I, I feel like I've kind of outgrown that. I feel like I'm ready to move on, and I feel like he's ready to stay here and not do anything. He just sort of kind of bases his whole year around the summer, just every year, doing the same thing. And you know, we're not kids anymore. We can't just keep doing this. Like, you gotta move on with your life, eventually. I've tried talking to him about this, about maybe getting a better job and like, bettering himself too, but he's not interested in it. All he wants to do is just work a shitty job for a couple months, get some money to go out. He doesn't want to save anything. He has no plans for the future. And I want to get out of here. I want to have plans. And I, I've been upgrading courses. Like I'm ready to go to school. And he's just going to be stuck here. Which is, it's disappointing because he's a nice guy, but I think We've just come our separate ways recently. Yeah. Hey. How'd it go? Good. Yeah. yeah. I was like, uh, the other day I was like in my room and I was listening to like this old like 70s, like kind of golden era, like Motown, like really female driven like soul music. I think the female-driven stuff is, like, really, like, empowering in a way. Because I think, like, the, the, the male kind of soul music has, like, a real, like, I don't know, it has a male energy to it, but I really like the female energy in, like, that kind of 70s era stuff. Um, I think it kind of, like, mirrors, like, the era, like, socially as well. What are you saying right now? Well, I'm, I'm kind of just, like... I don't know, you don't like to hear about like this stuff? You always stuff? do this, you always just talk and you just expect me to say something, but you don't really care about what I have to say. You just want to talk. Well, like, I don't know.
Are, are you really gonna leave Penn Yeah, man. Like, There's when? so much, like, like a week, probably. A week? Yeah. You, like, planned it out and stuff? Yes. But, like, you should figure some stuff out for yourself. I do, I have stuff figured out, though. Like, what? What are you gonna do? What is there to do here? I don't know, like, there's always jobs to get. The summer, like, just started. I have, like, all summer to, like, figure my stuff out. Like, I have, like, I feel like I have a lot of time. And I, it's, I, it's, it's not even, like, my stuff isn't figured out. Like, I, I know, like, my music is gonna be, like, pretty big, I think. Pretty soon, like, I'm working on it. I'll get a break pretty quick here, I think. You need to do something, but, like, you have all these plans, but you have no, like, drive to actually do anything. You start these things, and you think they're gonna go somewhere, but they never do. But it's not, like, things just come up. Like, and get in my way, like, with my car, like, like, I don't have the money to, like... Yeah, that's why you need a job, a stable job, not only you quit after a month because you don't like it. I quit, though, because they don't treat me properly. Like, they don't value, like, my skills as, like, a worker. And they treat me like shit, they make fun of me, and, like... I don't a better job. I'm just not really in, like, a hassle to, like, like... I don't know, I don't feel like I need to go to school right now. I don't feel like I need to like really like get on my horse right now. Like like I'm so young. I'm twenty two. Like I have I'm I have eight years so I'm thirty. Like med school what is like six years? Four or six years? Like the world is easy. You just have to like know how to work with it. Like I like I know how the world works and I just don't want to play its game right now. How do you even get, like, what well, you graduated three years ago, how do you even, like, get into university now? Like, how does that even work? Well, I've been taking classes night time, and I've been upgrading my courses so I can get into a proper school. They have s- school at night? Yeah. How do you have time for that? You have a job and you go to work? I mean, and you go to the college? I have goals that I want to do and things I want to achieve. Like what, though? Like, going to school and leaving. Well, what do you want to do with school? I, I don't know. Like, the whole school thing is, like, it's what everybody wants us to do. Like, I don't need to, like, I don't need to leave, though, right now. Like, I have no, like, I don't have any, like, monetary, like, tie-downs. Like, I, I don't pay rent. I live with my parents, but I don't pay it's rent. It's a problem, though, Tyler. Why you is it a that? problem? I'm saving money. You're not saving money, though. You don't have a job. Yeah. Are you going to still live with your parents in, like, five years? I haven't really thought that far ahead, I guess. Like, I think I'm gonna go. Like, right now? Yeah. Why? I work tomorrow, like, I have things to do. What time do you work at, though? I work at 5. Do you want to do something before? Before 5? Yeah. Like, p.m., right? No. A.m.? Yes. You work at 5 in the morning? Yes. That's like when I go to sleep. I don't know, man. I gotta... Okay. Wait, when do you leave again? In a week. In a week? Yes. I'll come off to say bye though, right? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Say goodbye. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you Tuesday, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Are you like packed and everything? Yeah. Yeah? Are you yeah. gonna forget anything? Nope. No? And how long are you gone for again? A couple months. Maybe I'll come back. Winter break. When's winter break? Forget it. December. December. You know, Juliet, she has things going on in her life, and I don't really think that Tyler understands that. Actually, I think she's outgrown him and his lack of moving forward in life, and I just. I don't think he sees it. Am I gonna uh, like see you again? Maybe. Like, are you gonna come back like next summer? Do you think maybe? I don't think so. No. No. Goodbye, Tyler.
things fell out this I let it fall out was no place could rest every tree Then fall I gazed into the warm summer sky 